So hey, um, I'm Dylan. I'm a first year PhD student at UC Irvine. Um, but I'm going to be talking about some work I did while I was an undergrad at Haverford College, working with Sorrel Friedler and Emil Givental. And this work is called Fairness Warnings in Fair Mammal, Learning Fairly from Minimal Data. So to start, I wanted to go over a couple motivating questions behind this work. So let's suppose that you're interested in using a group fair classification tool, um, but have access to minimal or potentially no training instances of your own. So what might you consider doing in this case? So should you uh, use a pre-trained for a model? And more generally, how can we identify what might go wrong with this and communicate this to policymakers and practitioners um, of a variety of technical capacities? Next, supposing that you do have access to some minimal task-specific data, um, how can you best use this data to still train a fair machine learning model? And how can we create fair models that generalize to new data sets better using less data? Um, so more concretely, Let's say that the city of Philadelphia has trained a fair um, criminal risk prediction tool on some population. Maybe they've assessed this tool for some desired fairness, fairness and accuracy criteria um, and feel like it's working all right. Then, let's say that the city of Chicago comes along and is interested in importing this tool to their specific application. So should they do this, or will differences between these two locations potentially break some of the fairness behavior of the original model? So for one, how can we communicate this um, in a clear way to the, to the decision makers in Chicago um, such that they can like, best make this decision? Um, but at the same time, how can we sort of enable and empower people like defense attorneys to better question and assess the specific uses of some of these tools? Then, supposing that there's some amount of labeled data available in Chicago, how can you best leverage this data in combination with the data from Philadelphia, but potentially other locations like New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco, um, to best train a model in this new location of Chicago. So to start answering these questions, um, we propose a, a couple different methods. First, we propose fairness warnings, uh, which is a method that provides interpretable boundary conditions for when a fair machine learning model may potentially behave unfairly due to demographic differences or a covariate shift in a target application. And by interpretable boundary conditions, I just mean an easy to calculate model um, such that users can perform this analysis for themselves. Um, and this can be sort of provided like alongside of the model as a sort of condition set for uh, when this model shouldn't be deployed. Uh, next, for the situation where there are a few labeled task instances, we make the assumption that there's related task training data and propose fair mammal, uh, which is a meta-learning approach to train a meta model um, using related task data that can be fine-tuned to new tasks from just a few instances from those tasks um, in a way that balances both fairness and accuracy. So in the risk prediction example, this would be that you have a couple labeled instances from one city, um, but labeled instances from a range of other cities. Lastly, we offer a connection between both these methods and ensure that they can be used well compatibly. So with fairness warnings, I've been talking about offering these conditions of unfairness. And I've been talking about that because offering a firm verification of, of fairness under potential distribution change is difficult, given that we want these simple to understand conditions. And, and even offering um, something that gives like a firm verification of fairness could, could even be a little misleading. Um, so what we do instead is offer conditions of unfairness according to summary statistics of the source population. So this is somewhat limiting because changes that affect fairness might not be captured by such statistics. But, but what it allow, does allow us to do is sort of is produce these readable and understandable warnings. And, and what this really implies is that fairness warnings might just serve as a good jumping off point into investigating the fairness behavior of a given model. And, and to train these warnings, uh, we just consider some binary notion of fairness failure, like breaking the 80% rule of demographic parity, sort of sampling potential changes to the source population, and just estimating the fairness effects of these changes. So here's a concrete example of a fairness warning trained on a model that's fair on the compass recidivism prediction task, according to the 80% rule of demographic parity, um, using a model called SLIM as the learned fairness warning. So what this provides is scores th for the mean changes and the potential effects um, to affect negatively um, in terms of the fairness behavior of the model uh, for a few relevant features it's identified. So here it decreases to the mean of prior count and increases to the age, um, or more likely to lead to unfairness. So concretely, if mean prior count were to decrease one prior and mean age would decrease by two years, you just look at the score totals for the estimated score and see the prediction of the model uh, given the guidance at the top. So going back to this case that you have a few labeled um, instances from the particular task you're trying to solve, 
Uh, we make this, uh, this assumption that there's related task training data available, as I've been talking about. Um, so going back to that case of risk, uh, risk prediction, um, this would just be that you have a few labeled instances in Chicago, but related task data in like Philadelphia, New York, Los Angeles. So generally just like distribution over task data. And to address this problem, we use the um, model agnostic meta-learning algorithm, just modified with a fairness um, regularization term in the task loss, such that we create this meta-model that generalizes well for both fairness and accuracy. And, and what, what this means, and what I really mean by meta-model, is it, just a neural network with a, with a parameter set, so that it's like optimally close to a range of potential tasks of interests, such that you just need like a few example from, examples from new tasks to sort of reach those tasks in a way that like nicely balances both fairness and accuracy. So as an example of this, um, we take a modified version of the communities and crime data set, um, where the goal is to predict um, violent crime in communities across the United States. And we sort of just treat each state as its own, um, as its own prediction task. And, and what you find is that um, when we sort of take a couple states, um, we train one of these metal models like, across the states. And then um, when we have new states with just a few examples from those states, um, uh, this method just generalizes a bit better, and we, we get a bit more um, data efficiency. So thanks for listening. Um, please check out the full version of the paper linked here. I'll leave this up for a moment um, for sort of some extended experimental evaluation. So thank you.